hi guys welcome back to my channel um so right now i am getting ready because i'm gonna be going to the store with my daughter le voy a ir a comprar unas liguitas para su pelo y voy a uh, estar haciendo a few errands so i'm just gonna take you guys with me it's tuesday august 5th también voy a ir a ver el salón donde a lo mejor voy a hacerle la fiesta a la niña so voy a arreglar un poquito i'm trying to set a goal every day to at least put a little bit of makeup on you know not too exaggerating pero algo you know to look decent you know not all the time we in fodonga you know i need i want to set this goal but i just my bien like i told you guys i need to build that self confidence so that's what i'm going to do right now me voy a listar un poquito nomás no voy, i'm not going to do anything crazy me voy a peinar and um i'm just going to get ready ya liana ya está lista nada más falto yo también voy a parar a party city a ver si tienen cosas para la niña para sus cumpleaños um it is going to be mini mouse themed because she loves Minnie Mouse so I want to um, get everything what I can to make her birthday party happen um, in the salon I think I'm gonna have somebody making tacos I don't know yet I mean I don't know porque pues es que no si, si puedo cocinar pero es que es mucho relajo cocinar en una fiesta y pues tener a, um, tener a la gente venir y todo en like cocinar and everything so i think i'm just gonna have somebody doing tacos and then i did get her a little brinca brinca thing and um for music um i did ask my brother a ver si me podía agarrar un grupito chiquito not nothing big guys just something little so um people can just you know disfrutar un poquito de la los cumpleaños primeros de mi hija it's her first birthday party so i want to make sure i can make it good i know i probably said that in the other video that i was gonna do it at my mom's house but i want to go big i want to go big this year for her because it's her first party so i want to make sure she gets everything that you know i know my mom would have done for me so i want to do this for her and pues yeah ahorita voy a ir al salón it's here in longmont y pues voy a ir a verlo a ver cómo está a ver cuánto and um, see if it's available for the date because um it is on the 28th her birthday party and i know it's late already but i mean i can at least try si no pues ni modo aquí lo hago en la casa de mi mamá you know lo que caiga en realidad yo nada más quiero que mi niña tenga su party that's all i want for her all right guys ya me arreglé un poquito como les dije nada exagerado so right now i'm on my way to chevrolet porque ahorita que quise prender la troca no quiso prender so I still have warranty in my truck, so I'm gonna go over there and see if I can get an appointment to see what's going on. Porque ya cambié la batería, ya hice, um, you know, ya fui a pa que la checaran bien y me dijeron que estaba bien, but if it's not turning on, I mean, I need to, I need to do something now because this is the only thing I have. I'm over around it. so I'm gonna go do that. Y luego de ahí voy a ir al Walmart, el Walmart ahí luego luego está junto al Chevrolet. And then I, at 6.45, I'm going to go and see the salon. La señora no pudo ahorita. So at 6.45, I'm going to go see the salon, see what, um, how it looks and how much, a ver cuánto va a ser. Y luego, I'm going to make food today. Voy a hacer carne. I think I'm just going to make carne today. Yesterday, I made mole con arroz. That shit was bomb, guys. It was so good. It was really, really good. All my family liked it. Llegaron los suegros de mi mamá and they really really liked it too they said that it was it's just a little bit spicy but that's what that's what was good so yeah all right guys so fortunately right now they couldn't check um the truck they said that i have to come back on the 12th i made an appointment so i can come back and they can take a look at it um so i hope me aguante hasta el día 12 si no pues me voy con otro mecánico because i need to get this thing checked uh, my stepdad took a look at it last time and he says everything was fine. I swear to God, I thought it was the battery, but I, don't, I really don't know what's going on with her. So, ahorita voy a ir al Walmart, agarrarle las ligas a mi hija, y por lo que nos falta, and then I'm gonna go home and cook for my fam, and probably go for a walk later with my daughter. Probably we're gonna go to a park or something. Last night I walked with her around the neighborhood where my mom lives and she loved it. She like took a nap the whole time. All right guys, so I just got back home. Ahorita voy a hacer algo de cocinar. Acabo de cortar tomate y cebolla y voy a poner carne um, a cocer because my brother's on his way back from work. So I just wanna make sure he has food ready. 
I think we're gonna be going to go pick up some stuff ahorita con él. Pero ya le voy a cocinar algo bien rápido, algo bien sencillo. Y luego ya para ir con él, I don't know where he, he needs to take, well, he needs a ride for me to take him somewhere. So I'm just gonna be waiting for him till he gets here and finish um, la carne. Y luego a cambiar a la niña otra vez porque se ensució. Alright guys, so acabo de hacer comida y lo, se lo dejé ahí mi hermano. Dije que iba a venir bien rápido a la tienda before he comes and I have to take him somewhere. Um, vine bien rápido aquí el Sally's. I totally, totally forgot there was a Sally's close to where I live, where my mom lives. So me vine, me vine el Sally's para comprarle las, un little spray bottle. I totally forgot I needed one too. So dije, no, mo, mejor me voy al Sally's que ya está aquí bien cerca. And... Um, and then I'm gonna go back home. Sí, a ver, a ver si los encuentro aquí. Ojalá y tengan, porque a veces Sally's no tienen todas las cosas. And um, I want to make sure, you know, that I can put my baby's hair up. I haven't put it up yet, so this is the first time. She does not like bows, guys. When um, she was little, I would put them on her y se las agarraba. And I would put it on y otra vez se las agarraba. So I'm gonna see a ver if this works first. Um, y a ver qué, a ver si le gusta. Ojalá y sí, because I don't like to see her with her pelo um like all crazy because she has curls in her hair y no me gusta no me gusta ver el pelo así so i want to at least put her hair up so she can have you know her hair not like right here in her face and she can look kind of cute también le voy a comprar little bowls i'm probably gonna go to the flea market this weekend and buy her little bowls for her head not the ones that go around but like the little clip ones the ones that you can clip y a ver si se deja con esas ojalá i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and see if it works all right, guys, acabo de salir de Sally's, and I was right. They did not have the freaking ligas. Guys, I don't know why it's so freaking hard to find ligas. Like, I've been at it all freaking morning. So, I'm going to go to another Walmart. A ver si tienen estas mugres ligas que ya me tengo hasta la maíz con estas pinches ligas que no las encuentro. But I did get her her little spray bottle. I will show you guys because I'm driving right now. Pero les voy a enseñar cómo se ve. Ay, no, con estas ligas, guys. I don't know. They said they were going to get a package tomorrow. I want to do it today. Like, I'm, I want to see my daughter's hair looks like up. Like, I'm curious how it looks. I'm curious if she's going to like it. I'm curious if she's not going to be pulling on her hair and wanting to take it off like she was doing with her bows. So, yeah, I'm going to stop at this Walmart y a ver si los tienen. All right, guys, so apenas salí del Walmart and I found them. I literally got the last ones, guys. I know they're the, col the colored ones, but it's the last ones they had. I was so lucky to get them. I was like, oh my God. It was like if they were just for me, just waiting for me. And this is a little spray bottle I got her so I can wear her little hair. I'm really, really happy, guys. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna do her hair and then I'm gonna show you guys how she looks like. <gasps> oh my God, look at your hair. So this is how she looks, guys. So I wet her hair a little bit. Le puse un poquito, like, baby gel. But, because she, like, her hair is really curly. Like, she's all happy. No me deja ver. Se está moviendo because she's looking at the camera. But she looks so cute. And almost, I couldn't find any little bows. All the bows that I had was the ones um, to go around her head. Pero she loves it, guys. She's, like, living life right now. She's so cute. Hola, mamacita. Ay, mi amor. Me das un beso. <laughs> Alright guys, so right now I am driving. I came to Goodwill again to drop off some stuff. Aliana has a lot of stuff. And I cabe todo in in su um, in the room that we're staying in because me and her are staying together. So I'm just like, um, I'll donate it because who knows when my family is in Mexico right now, but who knows when they're gonna go again so they can take it. So para no donate todo montonado, I just donated it all to Goodwill. Ya me lo acabo unpacking, guys. Ya no me falta las cajas de comida because I had a lot of food that I brought back. Y este, no más falta eso, guys. Seriously, I'm almost done unpacking. Ahorita paré en un lugar, guys, because I saw this truck and I really, really want it. It's it's really nice, but I don't know. I really love my baby. I don't know if I want to trade it in yet. I'm going to probably go see it on Saturday. A ver cuánto me ofrecen to trade this one in and get that one. A ver cuánto, cuánto me, me dan. I don't know yet. So, ando viendo. Pero ya, ya estoy acomodada. Ya con el favor de Dios, ya todo va, va a empezar yendo bien. You know, last night, I did have a little breakdown. Um, 
I just felt like a lot of things were just happening at the same time and I don't know I just felt like my world was coming together in one I felt very stressed very insecure of myself and I broke down last night and I was gonna break down again this morning it's just what I'm going through you know I see a lot of people on, on like a lot of women on TikTok who post videos of thing of the similar things that I'm going through I'm like oh my god how did they do it how do they do it to keep moving on with their lives how did they do it to keep faith to you know have that motivation to keep going because you know it's really hard for me to find it and you know and I try to talk to people to like not, not to people but my friends you know to let them know like what's going on because I just I don't know I just I feel like my world is crashing down even though good things are happening to me you know I am I do have a job interview tomorrow and you know I do have a babysitter for Aliana to watch so she can be watched um while I work and all these good things you know are happening but it's just so stressful guys you know this situation that I'm going through no se lo deseo ni a mi peor enemiga it's just you know once God no, you know, they always say Dios sabe lo que hace, Dios sabe por qué hace las cosas, Dios sabe por qué mueve las montañas, Él solo sabe y, y ojalá, you know, tengo fe que todo va a salir bien con el favor de Dios, you know, I always pray to God y le digo Dios, ayúdame, dame las fuerzas para seguir, porque es duro, es bien duro, en, you know, yo, yo sé que mis fuerzas es mi hija también y tengo que seguirle por ella y echarle ganas, guys, you know echarle ganas para pues para allá, para seguir adelante buenos días guys how are you, have you guys seen me así I was not crying, tengo unas alergias guys, bad, I just drank um, medicine para que se me quitara porque tengo unas alergias gachos guys like, I've been like sneezing like crazy all morning, pero I am feeling a little down today you know, esta, esta mañana amanecí un poquito triste I haven't cried. My eyes look like this. I swear to, I swear to God, guys. Like, I have allergies. No llorado. Pero, you know, it's, it was very hard for me to get up this morning. Um, You know, I had my therapy yesterday. And she was telling me que, was, I guess she diagnosed me with depression and anxiety. And I was like, wow. Like, you know, I know I was down, but I didn't know I was that bad so they want to start me on medication pero yo no i don't want to take medication pero según ella dice que estos medicamentos no me ponen a dormir que i should be fine pero no i just i don't want to be sleeping you know it's just i don't want to miss out on anything with taliana just because i'm sleeping si me ven mi pelo así guys i just woke up then me chanza para listarme because i literally just woke up like um apenas son las nueve de la mañana y apenas despertó mi hija también y pues ya yeah, I mean I didn't know that I had this con el tiempo debo de de sentirme mejor con los medicamentos y este y el otro pero I don't know yo tengo mucha fe en Dios que todo me va a salir bien este esta semana it was a little bit hard not that hard today is Friday already gracias a Dios gracias a Dios por las bendiciones que estamos aquí el viernes and um, yeah, pues, you know, I'm not gonna, like, I, I declined the medication. I did. Le dije, tú sabes que déjame nomás hacer la terapia for now. Y luego ya en un futuro me tomo los medicamentos if I don't feel like I'm progressing anywhere. So yeah, so that's my update for right now. Um, ahorita voy a hacer de comer. Voy a hacerle de comer a mi hija y pues a ver qué pasa el día de hoy. I really don't have anything really planned. All right, guys, so como pueden ver, ya me aliste. Le dije a mi mamá, um, what did she want to eat? And she didn't tell me what, so I think I'm just going to make them un pozole. I know it's hot for pozole, pero like, se me antojo mucho un pozole. So I'm on my way right now to save a lot to get stuff for the pozole. And then um, I think later on today, I'm going to be taking Aliana to go swimming. She hasn't gone swimming in a bit, so I'm, I think I'm going to take her. Pero ya más noche para que ella vea, like, las luces y todo. Because I, I take her when it's, like, the day. But right now, it is hot. And I want to take her ya en la noche ya para que ella vea las lucecitas de la pool y todo. She loves the water, guys. The water is her thing. And I just want to take her ya para, para la noche ya cuando la acuesto. Ya she crashes and she goes to sleep. So... 
yeah, voy a hacer un pozole and I think that's it for today, guys. Like, literally, it's fr it is Friday, como les dije, es, es viernes. And I want to get out of the house también porque no quise estar en la casa. So, por eso le dije a mi mamá, you know what, I'm going to go to the store, make pozole. ¿Qué, mija? Ta, ya, ta, ta. Ella también está platicando con ustedes, ¿verdad? Para pa que vean. But yes, like, como les dije, no hay nada tanto planeado el día de hoy. You know, it's just a plain Friday. So I was talking to my brother about plans about my truck. Y le dije that I wanted to probably drop it a little bit more from the front, probably two inches. So that's the goal for my truck is to, because right now it's squatted. Um, so I want to drop it two inches in the front and probably leave it the color it is and then probably do something with it in the future. But right now, with the color it has, the black, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. But yeah, I'm going to be dropping it two inches in the front, guys. I'm going to go a little bit more lower. <sighs> I I'm, I wasn't a big fan of drop trucks porque mi hermano siempre tenía trocas bajitas. Y siempre batallaba, siempre batallaba porque los streets de Denver are really bad, guys. Like, o de Denver, o lo que sea de Colorado, the streets are really bad to drive in. Like, it's so hard to even get around sometimes. Y a mí me daba miedo eso, but now that I have this one, I'm kind of getting used to driving it. Todavía no me acostumbro mucho, pero tengo que porque it's the only thing I have to go around with. Y pues Luis dropped it from the back, so I'm like, I have to get used to it. Pero no topa tan gacho, like, he did put the shocks so it won't bounce as much. And um, I was like, well, if it's already dropped in the back, I mean, I'm just going to level it in the front. So he's like, just drop it two inches. So that's my plan future for this truck is to drop it two inches, just, you know, make it my project. And I'm probably going to put a sound system in it as well. I love hearing music and Ariana does too when we're on the go for drives and then probably I had I do have to fix the window too it's broken so I have to fix that and then I think that's it for right now guys for now this is what I'm just gonna do for now um porque it's really expensive to fix a truck and to maintain it también pero yo quería troca so I have to you know get up to date with it but yeah that's really the future plans that I have for my truck no tengo tanto para hacerle ya ya lo que Lo que se hizo, ya está. So, I mean, ya en un future, if I want to lift it, I think I am. Or I'm probably going to trade it in. Like I told you guys, um, when I went to go see that white truck, it was lifted. So, I loved it a lot. Déjeme nomás le doy la teta a la niña. But yeah, I loved it a lot. A mí siempre me han gustado las trocas lifted. Pero, I don't know, I'm kind of falling in love with the drop truck now. I don't know, it's like, it's nice to drive around in it. And I don't know. A ver, a ver cómo me va. Si no me gusta ya para un future, I know I can just, you know, lift it. Pero I really like how it is right now. All right, guys. So I just got home. Ya puse a cocer el pollo. Right there, I'm going to make pozole de pollo. And I bought the hominy. This shit's heavy, guys. Y compré el hominy. And I bought hot cheetos, guys. Hot cheetos are life. Pero ya, pues, um, I think that's all I need. Ahorita me faltó repollo, guys. I forgot to go buy el repollo. My family likes el pozole con repollo. So I need to go buy that. I totally forgot. Porque pasé por las medicamentos de mi mamá. And I totally forgot about el repollo. So ahorita otra vez voy a salir a agarrar el repollo. Alright guys, if you guys see me in like a different set or like a different place, I'm actually in my stepdad's truck. So my brother took his, my truck to go do some things with it. And um, me, me dejó esta so ahorita voy a rumbo a agarrar el repollo porque se acaba de coser el pozole. So voy para allá a comprar el repollo y luego ya regresar a la casa, cortarlo y pues a ver si le gusta el pozole a mi familia. I have a feeling that we're not going to be going to the pool. So, I mean, it just uh, depends what time he comes back. Como que Denver está lejos de Longo, está como a 30 minutos casi. Um, you know, in traffic y con todo, siento que no va a llegar a tiempo para ir a llevar a la niña a la verca, which is okay, you know, la verca siempre va a estar ahí, no se va a ir a un, a un lugar, so I can take her on uh, like another day, pero, um, yeah, ahorita nomás estoy haciendo eso, él apenas, like, he just got out of work and stuff, and I was like, I need to use your truck to go do some things, and I was like, alright, porque la de mi padrastro, esta sí gasta mucha gasolina, y para ir hasta allá, and to come back and do all that, like, es, es mucha gasolina, so, Él se llevó mi truck y yo estoy con esta. Hey right, guys, so I just got a call from my brother um, while he was on his way to driving to Denver. The truck um, put some, something like, um, it gave like a little like warning sign on the screen. 
saying that the vehicle has to be stopped because something was going on so he stopped and there was he didn't know it was water or antifreeze water like all over the engine so my my mom told me to call a tow truck to go pick it up and then she's like no wait let's go um, let's go to the truck let's take my uh, my stepdad and see what's going on with it and if it's just that i hope it's just that we won't have to call the tow truck it's not that then i'm gonna have to call the tow truck and oh my god it's just one thing after another with this vehicle honestly i'm like mm. but that's what it is about taking care of a vehicle is being responsible with it and anything can happen to it if you don't maintain it good and i had a feeling that something was gonna happen when he was going over there i was just telling him you know the whole time when he was gonna take my truck you know take care of it take care of it take care of it because i had this feeling that something was gonna happen but you know now that this happened, now we're going to have to go over there and go see what's going on. So probably you guys can't really see, but we are pulling the truck at this point because we did not want to move it as it was. So we did struggle a little bit um, to move it, but we did get it to where it had to go. All right, guys, so we just got home. It is currently 11, 16 p.m. We got home pretty late. Just pulling the truck and everything was just a hassle to even get it to the mechanic. But it's there, and they're not going to be able to check it till Monday. So I'm not going to get my truck back till Monday, which sucks because I really wanted it this weekend. But, um, yeah, it's going to be there. So I'll go ahead and just, you know, make a separate video. So I'm just going to end this vlog here, guys. Thank you for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe, like, and hit that notification button so when I post a video, you are notified.